An app title in the ASO world references the name of the app as it shows up in the store. Uh, there are lots of different kinds of titles in both Android and iOS, but the one that matters for ASO is the one that shows up in the store, so in Google Play or in iTunes. In iOS, uh, we call this the app name, and you have 30 characters to optimize, including spaces. In Google Play, uh, we call it the Google Play title, sometimes the app name, but generally it's referred to as the title. Uh, it, and it gets 50 characters, including spaces. In both of these places, it's important to include keywords and not just your brand name, if you can, um, because this is really heavily weighted in terms of ASO. Um, so keywords really help you rank, especially uh, when people are searching for a type of app rather than just browsing the top lists, um, and especially if you're not a well-known brand already. Now in iOS, there is also something called the bundle display name, and this is what shows up on the phone under the app icon. Uh, this is known to have no ASO value. It's 11 characters, and after that, it'll be truncated, and it actually gets truncated on iOS in the middle. On Android, the corollary um, is the app name label, uh, and this one, it's less clear if it has ASO value, but probably if it has any, it's minimal. And it seems like this one's character limit is 10. And after that, longer titles get, uh, or longer app name labels get truncated at the end. So that is an app title. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. To be notified about future videos, click the logo. And to try the Mobile Moxie mobile SEO tool set, use the promo code YouTube to get 30 days free. They're mobile-first SEO tools for a mobile-first world.